Nine wants to know how the number of turns are measured, but we will hold that for the minute as we go into semi-final number two. Dimitri Anaskin up against Chris Mills of the UK. Alrighty. So Dimitri is actually our runner-up for this event last year. So he came in, uh, he came in second. Uh, Chris Mills, who uh, actually competed in all of the Red Bull uh, qualification, uh, no, not not even all qualifications, but he actually uh, participated in, in all the Red Bull finals so far, and he actually earned the nickname Rescramble Mills, which he actually doesn't really like himself. <laughs> So Chris, he, uh, he qualified by winning our first digital qualifier, so he's also really good at speed cubing mixed, which was the only event that we had for the digital qualifier. And uh, yeah, Ben didn't really have to qualify because he, uh, he earned a wild card be by uh, being on the podium. Um, yeah, and in the previous round, Dimitri won against Ben Barron. Ben Barron, who unfortunately is not among our semi-finalists for speed cubing mixed because he did some really good times. So he had to he really had what it took to uh, to get here, but he didn't actually make it. So they're off. Um, I think they're both using the same method. So that is the method that Ricky also uses. So it's uh, quite similar to uh, solving normally. So he doesn't do the blindfolded method. Ooh, and Chris is already done. Yeah. Yeah, he's happy about that. Yeah, Chris, that, it, that was, that was, again, really tight. Both guys using, like you said, using both methods, both the visualization and also putting the scramble into that second cube that they have. But Chris Mills draws first blood, so here we go. He's at match point as we go into the second matchup of the semifinals. Dimitri Anaskin has got, uh, well, he's got a lot to do now. Yeah, but he certainly has the, the stuff that it takes to, to get back because he had some uh, really good times in the previous rounds. I think the last round that he won against Ben, he did two solves of 20 seconds, which is uh, really good for this event. My personal best is only 37. And I was really happy about that. So, uh, yeah. And uh, Chris, I think he can actually do some sub-20 solves, but uh, he also tends to be a little bit inconsistent because uh, uh, his average time for the seeding round was actually 37 seconds as well. Um, so um, we'll see what he does. Well, what a time to uh, find form. He's a little bit behind here. Let's just see. Yeah, this is gonna be a close one. Chris seems to be ahead a little bit, but it's really neck and neck. Oh, it's like, yeah. Dimitri taking his uh, his first battle here, his first point. It's one all. Yeah. How would you say uh, full house? Uh, all the plates are filled. Uh, full, full. Uh, we, we, we tried to touch on the baseball analogy yesterday, didn't we? I can't remember what it is. Base is loaded. That's it. <laughs> all bases Base loaded. Is loaded. <laughs> well, I can tell you that Chris is ahead in the polls. So the audience, they're thinking that Chris has still got this. But with one apiece, we'll have to wait and see as we go into this third and final best of battle in the re-scramble. Semi-final two, Dimitri Aniskin up against Chris Mills. Yeah, we'll see what happened there because Chris uh, clearly going through his phone there, trying to piece together the... Uh, what exactly happened? It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's just a blur, isn't it? It's a blur of hands. It's just incredible. Yeah, it is. Uh, for for Rescramble, you really do a lot more algorithms, uh, especially for the last layer, than you would use for uh, for normal solving. Uh, so the move count is higher, but the TPS is also higher, turns per second, which is uh, one of the statistics that you always see after a battle. Um, yeah, I think Chris really was surprised and confused about what happened afterwards, because uh, he was comparing their cubes, his, his cubes, and he was making sure that they were both uh, matched up, which certainly looked to be the case uh, as far as I could see it. Um, so we'll uh, we'll wait about the uh, the answer from the judges. Well, I am uh, being told that it's been reset. It's back to one game apiece, uh, one battle apiece, and we're going to go back in again for that third and final battle. So yeah, little problem with the app there, some problem with the software, but we are back up and running. Both of the Cubers on one game each, and we're going into that third and final battle once again. So Chris Mills has another bite at the cherry here. 
Well, I know who won that uh, previous battle. It's the viewers, because we actually have another battle that we can enjoy here. Chris looking in his phone. He's probably just joining the room. Yeah. Turning off his headphones so he could not be disturbed. That is a good tactic. Some of the competitors during the seeding rounds were disturbed by uh, people coming in and out of the, the room there. So uh, taking off those headphones is certainly a good strategy. It turned off, but I'm gonna turn it back on. And I Let's just... see what happens here. So well, they're neck and neck according to the rockets. Yeah, they really are. Both deep in it, looks like. No pauses yes. so far, so this is gonna be a close one. Yeah, Chris takes it. And look how much that means to him. <laughs> he is stoked with that. Oh my God. That is really cool to see, yeah. He is really happy about that. He's gone. He's still trying Clearly to, to match the pattern. Did you see him? He, <laughs> he was <laughs> properly blown away by that. Well, that's what you like to see. That's what it's all about. It's not about taking part. It's about winning. No, I'm joking, of course. It is just taking part. But there we go. <laughs> so Chris Mills up against uh, Ricky Myler. You could say surprise final. Well, I mean, not really. Like, Ricky certainly was one of the favorites to go into the finals. Manuel did seem to have an edge on him uh, based on the seeding results. Um, but yeah, Chris winning against uh, Dimitri, that really was a coin toss in my opinion. And I'm happy for Chris uh, that he uh, advances to the finals. He was really anxious about what the rules would be because the programming of the app was only finished uh, a few weeks ago. So they were still not really in the know of uh, what was about to come. Um, and so, uh, yeah, really, uh, I'm happy for him that he made it to the finals. But for then, as we go straight into the gold medal matchup, then. Ricky Myler up against Chris Mills. So they both have been uh, practicing for hours and hours for this moment. Talk to both of the competitors beforehand and they're, uh, they're excited to, to be here again. Hopefully next year we can uh, do it on site again, but this time they're doing it from their own homes, which uh, might be even better for their times because uh, it's a more uh, familiar environment. I certainly do better times at home. Um, but I really don't know how it would be like if it would uh, have so much for on the on the on the plate for for prize money. Well, you could see how much it meant to Chris Mills earlier on, um, just to make it through to these finals. So definitely a lot on the line and the pressure. And in fact, we've had a a nice comment in the chat: cubing in front of so many people has to make you super nervous. My respect to everyone competing. Absolutely so. I'll just know just how many. Yeah, keeping your uh, keeping your cool really is a big part of, uh, of of cubing. I know many cubers that are really fast, but then tend to uh, to mess up a little bit under pressure. And then there are other people who uh, can withstand the pressure really well. And uh, both of these uh, athletes have, of course, uh, much experience in uh, in these kind of situations, especially Chris. Because the UK competitions are always packed with people, so if you would uh, rent out a room with uh, 600 people, they would be able to fill it normally. So off they go. Both use the CFOP method uh, for solving, although the last layer is, of course, divided in a few more sub-steps than you would normally have. You can always see the rockets to see uh, how many pieces are solved, so Chris certainly looks to be ahead. Ricky comparing some pieces there. Chris as well. Yeah. yeah. And he takes it. Chris takes it. Little nod of the head there, just to uh, reaffirm it to himself. So Chris draws first blood. Chris actually ahead in the pole as well. You lot watching, you think that Chris has got this. Chris is, uh, Chris is a well-known cuber in the UK, which might uh, explain the polls. But of course, Ricky is a, is a real specialist here. 
Uh, Ricky Myler, who uh, tried to do a backflip out of nothing uh, from a bench when we were traveling in the US. Uh, he did manage to land it, but then of course uh, he sprained uh, a muscle there. So next time we were out in the city, he couldn't even join. But uh, we do have a video of that. Well, I think we should uh, we should maybe look at that once this is all over and let's just... Uh... <laughs> so, Ricky against Chris. Chris has drawn first blood. This is the re-scramble gold medal matchup here. These guys getting uh, 15 seconds to take a look at this scramble. And then all hell will break loose as they try and mix their cubes up to match that scramble. All right, off they go. Chris seems to be ahead because he uh, turned his second cube a little bit before Ricky does. So if they would use exactly the same strategy for that, this is ahead. Looks like it. Yeah, <laughs> was, he takes it. I was waiting for the jump up. There he goes. You watch. You don't stub your toe on your uh, cupboard there, Chris. You can see you're not wearing any shoes, and he's absolutely blown away by that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that means that uh, Ricky is dethroned as the back-to-back -back World Cup uh, champion, actually. And Chris is our new champion for this, uh, for this special game mode. So kudos for Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Kudos to Chris. Um, let's take a look at the podium then. Full re-scramble here. Third place, we've got Manuel Goodman in Argentina. Second, still... On the cube, it is Ricky Myler. And first place then, Chris Mills out of the UK with a little wave to his mom, no doubt, watching downstairs on the television. Uh, Chris, how you doing, dude? Congratulations. You're the re-scramble champion. How you feeling? I I don't know what just happened. I, I came into this, uh, <laughs> this semi-final as, like, maybe hoping to get second. Like, I was like, it would be really good if I could manage to get that. So I guess... Having already made that goal, I just didn't have any nerves in the final, so it just meant I could solve at my, my peak performance and actually manage to win. Wow, Chris, uh, congratulations. Uh, can you maybe talk us through a little bit uh, of your last solve? Uh, you seemed uh, to be turning um, your second cube a little bit earlier than uh, Ricky did the first rotation, so at that point it looked like you were ahead. Is that true? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I, I just uh, scrambled the cube, put my hand over it like we agreed, and uh, I somehow managed to just turn perfectly. Um, I had a pretty good idea of what I was going to do, and uh, didn't make any mistakes in that final solve and got one of my best solves I've ever got in competition or just at home as well. Uh, well, it was brilliant. And I can, you, you can tell by the way you jumped up how much it meant to you. So huge congr congratulations. I've just heard the phone go downstairs. So no, no doubt that's your aunt or your uncle. They're watching. They want a phone to congratulate you. A huge well done for everybody. Uh, yeah. Chris Mills, you are the re-scramble champion 2020. Well done. Thank you. Oh, that was good. That was good. He was properly pumped to that, wasn't he? Yeah, he, that was really exciting. He was not on uh, my top two for uh, for winning this. Maybe at the, at the third choice, but uh, he certainly deserved it. No doubt about that. He uh, clearly beat his opponents uh, on these battles, especially the last battle was uh, superb, where uh, he just went on and on and on without pausing. So that's what it takes to win.